Hello and welcome back to Uncle Buck's Garage. Today we're going to talk about alternators. All right. And what we're going to talk about is the differences and the reasons why you would want to use this or that or other. Okay. So this one is a standard. I took it off the old farm truck. I had it tested. It still tests good. Okay. So, it, but it's a 60 amp producing alternator. This is an aftermarket 100 amp producing alternator. I traded for it a year ago. And see what that says. JDM speed. So this is aftermarket, and this is a hundred amp producing alternator. Now, that's yes, why wouldn't I just go ahead and put the nice, pretty, brand new hundred amp alternator on the build? Because I don't need it. Because this alternator right here. If I ever decide to use a full MSD ignition system and I have a running 450, 500 horsepower and I need the extra output to make sure I run all the electronics and fire an ignition system to the max, I'm going to run this alternator. And this is a one wire setup. It's got everything blocked off. It's just a single one wire. And that's one wire. Say so we're the factory here. This is the factory setup. It's blocked off on the 100 amp where this is the plug-in for the regular factory plug-in and it's got the output just like regular. But this one, if you set up for a one wire, that wire goes straight back to the battery. This wire runs back through the harness, uh, through the system, and then gets back to the battery. This one is I'm going to save. We're going to use it sometime in the future. Like I said, you can all see the differences. It's got it's got a much nicer, deeper aftermarket pulley on it. This is factory, and I just give it a little bit of paint, just to clean it up a little bit. For the, well, the reason why I'm not running the hundred amp, which is it, it isn't necessary on the that's seventy eight C ten that I'm running with just stock ignition, stock everything. It's not going to have a system in it like a, a stereo system, and it. it's not going to have any you know power adders or anything to it. It's going to be just standard as you come pickup truck. Okay. So there isn't any reason for me to waste the usage of that 100 amp alternator, which those are expensive. You know, I, like I said, I got that in a trade and I don't want to waste it on just a bone stock rebuild. Basically, is what I'm doing on the C10 just to get it on the ground and uh, I'm looking for the next project. But right now, I had the 60 amp alternator tested, it tested good. So we're going to use it. We're going to put the 100 amp back on the shelf. Probably wrap it up in plastic in a plastic bag so, you know, the critters don't get to it. And and if we need it in the future, we'll use it. But right now, it's going back in the closet because it just isn't necessary because I'm just not needing the power that it can produce. Just not running enough accessories for that to happen. So if you're still here, like, share, and subscribe. Smash that button. Hit that bell. Check out my other content. Come back for the next one because we're now we're in the assembly mode. We are going to be putting things on drive shaft, radiator, uh, fuel tank, fuel pump, all that kind of stuff. We're going to be adding on as the spring goes because I want to get this up and running by April when the car shows start. So we're cruising around. So y'all have a great day. It's a great day today. I mean, you better day tomorrow. Y'all be good.